Hello, everyone. You like that? Yeah, right. <laughs> uh, welcome to the Knitting Place podcast. Number 42. Woohoo! We did it. We did it. We're back. Before Labor Day. I know. Not like to say that even, Labor Day is a little late this year, but I know <laughs> that worked in our favor, right? <laughs> it did, it did. Mm. But today is September 1st, so we're even yes. ahead of Labor Day. Yes, so. we are, right? Unless yeah. September, it was September 1st. It's Tuesday, right? Tuesday. Okay, Tuesday, September 1st, just so you can get your bearings. Oh, he started her knit along today. That's correct. Um, you probably won't be seeing this until the weekend, though, right? Probably. Right. It'll take me some time to edit. We like to a little add a little time in there, right? Right. But just so you get a frame of mind when we podcasted, I probably should introduce myself for those of you who already know me. Uh, thanks for returning. I'm Diana. This is the Knitting Place podcast. You can find me at the Knitting Place on Instagram, the Knitting Place on Ravelry, and the Knitting Place on Facebook. Correct. At Gmail too. The Knitting Place at Gmail dot com. It's very easy for you to remember that, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it well, I am Pam Sap on Instagram and Pam Sap on Ravelry. And Facebook, I'm Pam Sapienza, Ends my whole name. So official. So official. So I noticed that we're not always very good about inviting viewers to, to subscribe. Subscri well, yeah, that is a, a thousand percent correct. <laughs> so you know? please, there's a little button down below. Hit subscribe. We'd love for you to get notifications when we publish. and what do they say ring the i was watching a podcast the other day and they were saying ring the bell hit the little bell so you can be notified when a podcast is goes that up. what it is, is i guess that that's reference? what it is yeah i don't know okay so either ring the bell or subscribe, hit subscribe. do whatever it is you have to do <laughs> follow diana on instagram she just follow hit a Pam. you just hit a milestone on instagram i hit 6400 viewers I know. that was big for me that was big that went I up felt like there was a little bit of a jump there. That was nice. Thank yeah, you yeah. all. So appreciate all the viewership and staying connected. It's lots of fun. Yes. I just got a sweet text on the phone, Pam. A uh, customer sent a message. I guess we commented about how we were so drained at the end of a long day. <laughs> so she left me a message saying that she really appreciates all our Instagram uh, videos at the end of the day. Uh, even though it's been a long day, you know, right, they right. find it very, she finds it very inviting. So thank you. Thanks for tuning in. If you can, if you watch it on the rewind. Yes, we do, do, we do do unboxings and what's new in the shop on Instagram usually. Yes. Well, you can, don't have to watch it live. You can watch it whenever it's on. Right. You, I, it goes on to Instagram TV, right? Isn't right. It? So if you it just, does. right. If you follow the feed, you'll get, I know, Correct. you'll see it. Correct. Alrighty. So what's doing? What's doing? I just realized I need pen and paper to take notes. Yes. But you can start. Why don't you start? You have some FOs, Pam. I do? Yeah. I have one. I have well, one FO. One, one FO. Yeah, I have one. Okay. You want to? Want to talk about it? Yeah. Why one? not? Well, it's under this. Do you want me to talk about one first? No, that doesn't. Okay. I'm just going to go get a pen. Mm -hmm. I thought I was ready. Well, what uh, we are going to talk about is I finished my VBAC T. The fingering version. You just move it over. Am I in your way? There you go. Let's put it center stage. Is it visible? Yeah, it's you can so see it. It's so pretty. Yeah. Um, this so is great. The, it, she now has a DK version out, but this is the fingering version. Diana finished one a short while ago. And um, mine is the bright version. And <laughs> her hands is more subdued. Mine is, a, as you can see, it looks denimy blue. And I use the... Um, you turn it on the side pan. You can see, see the, the angle. Fade. Yeah, Correct. so pretty. I used three colors. I started with Hurricane from Suburban Stitcher. I went into Route 66 from Asylum. Um, Asylum. And then I went into Boyfriend Jean, Jeans from um, Suburban. But what I did is she has different ways of doing it. You can do it all in one color if you want. You can do a three color fade. A four, is there a four color fade? A four color four fade, color five fade. color fade. You can use five colors. I chose to use three colors, but I did a five color fade using the three colors. Right. So I went dark, medium, light, medium, dark is how I did it. Um, and really I did pretty. that. I can't say I invented that. I saw someone on Ravelry who did it that way, and I liked the way it looked. And my colors were fairly similar. If you took the three balls and you put them next to each other, they were They very, weren't high contrast like mine. Right, so they, they definitely flow. Right, and the thing about the VBAC T is, does she turn around? She does. Is that the back? You can it's wear reversible. it reversible. Right, so that would be the rounded neck. You could wear that in the front. 
Um, or you could wear the the V in the front. So you could wear the V in the back. back right. right. I don't know I should back. try doing it that way. I haven't put it on that way. But anyway, so that is my FO. My only FO. This this podcast. But I'm looking forward to wearing it. Um, you know, I'll wear it soon. It just needs to be a little cooler out for when I go to school and all that. Otherwise, it's too hot. Very pretty. Well and done, Pam. There you go. I got to see it on her. It looks really good. There you You'll go. Maybe the next time I'll wear it. We'll <laughs> yeah. see. We'll okay. see. Good idea. Okay. So what's your FO? So I have two. Oh, there it is. You yeah. probably have seen them. Uh, I posted this, I think, on Instagram. You had one sock done the last time. Right. So now they're both done. Mm -hmm. uh, so she didn't fall prey to the well, everyone's scared second me about sock this. syndrome. <laughs> exactly. Everyone scared me. Are they getting blown out? Yeah, that of. looks better far away. Okay. Mm -hmm. So these are the mile forward socks. Um, what did you use? What you I used one skein of Squishy from Manzula. Nice. Really pretty. Fun to make. Did They're you short. have, how much did you have left over? I had quite a bit left over. Certainly not enough I to make another. You could do another pair. I can't. I couldn't do another pair, but I certainly could do another repeat hire if I wanted a taller sock. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So. That's nice. That's one. And then my second one was a test knit, and I had permission from the designer. To show sweater it. Sweater Freak. This is, um. I tell you, it looks like an optical illusion. It is. What is it's, it though? What I don't was know what different she's down? Call it. What is different? She down shifted here? it, but it looks like more than that. It looks it's like the there's more pattern. green. It right. looks like there's more green. Correct. What was shifted? The hound's tooth. I don't. It's de it's in the pattern. It's Hold definitely there. I'm just looking there. at it. Move your hand. Oh, it's definitely different. Yep. It's definitely different. So she started with one, the black ribbing, and ended with the yes. green ribbing. That makes a difference too. Yeah, and you pretty much use up a lot of the yarn. Like so you use it. Yeah. Well, really, that's nice. that's not a bad project for two skeins. Amazing of color. Work it's a hundred percent cashmere. Yeah. So this that is, is not Clinton bad Hill. at all. Yeah. It's the DK weight. DK weight bespoke DK from Clinton Hill. You need two contrasting colors. Um, it could be high contrast, low contrast. You know what? When you see it sideways, you see that this side is predominantly back black background, and this has the green background. The khaki, right? Now you see it. It's oh, I cool. could see it. I could see that there's definitely yeah. a. I love it. It's very cool. I don't know what she's going to call it yet. So this was a fun test. And you, do you know when it's coming out? I don't. So okay. stay tuned. We'll let you know, right? As soon as you find out. Yes. Did you post pictures of that? Not yet. I literally mm -hmm. just steamed it. Is there a Ravelry <laughs> group for that? Uh, it was a testnet group. It was testnet. Yeah. Nice. We got to get yours on there so we could. Well, <laughs> I knew that was next. Well, you know, it's when I'm you go. So well, bad. But it's true when you go to Ravelry and you, there's a new project that you want to make. You, you always I look have to see to how many it. projects mm -hmm. are up there because it really is good for the designer because there are you know different yarns or different you know whatever. Absolutely, you're so right. I'm writing notes. I'm sorry. There you go. You can write. Um, okay, so that was a test net. Unfortunately, I'm just going to write test net. Right. Cal. Cashmere block. Cal. Right. Cashmere Cal, and I'll write the designer. Right. Uh, sweater Freak. Okay. Oh, there you go. Are you sharing any whips? Um, you know, I don't think I have any here. Do I have one here? I don't know. Usually you have your name with you. It's in the car. But I have my lava lake, which you guys have seen. Okay. Oh, it's so almost can... done. I don't have that with me. Okay. Um, that's it. All right. That's it. I don't have it. I don't think I have any whips here. Well, <laughs> I will show I'm you. I'm free today. My whip, which is really brand new. I'm actually going to design something with the new yarn that we just received, and we will share that with you in a moment. Didn't get very far. Um, I have the sweater knitting around. I'm using two skeins at a time, so there is a helical knitting going on. That's why you see all the ends. Mm. And I didn't quite cut the bottom ribbing yet because I just want to make sure that well, it's the right way. It's, yeah. it's a design. So. It's a new design. So well, Be um, careful before you cut yes, your ends. <laughs> exactly. Um, is it going to be a pullover? It's going to be a pullover. And that's all I'm going to say we'll right see. now. Stay tuned. Yeah. The yarn is Big Blue Clay, which is this yarn here, which is really fun and fluffy. It's getting blown out. Yeah, it is. Um, and the bottom yarn is called Bloom. It's got like a pink. It's a pink. I don't know the colorway. Yeah. I don't know the name of the color. Is this yarn called Bloom? This one is called Bloom. Do you know anything about that? 
Uh, I don't have the labels okay. in my bag. I'm sorry. And this is the boucle. I think I'm going to hold it back here unless, there you go, get the shadow off. It is really blowing out, huh? Very much so. Oh, you need like an umbrella here. Let's <laughs> block the light and I'll do that. There you go. Okay, so those are the colors. Yeah, that's, oops. That's better indication. Yeah. There you go. It's a very soft, soft color, very subtle. Right? I think it, yeah, I think I might need some test knitters. So if anyone is interested in testing, I've never really put a call out for test knitters or sample knitters. Send us a message. Please email me. You don't have to put it, don't leave it in the comments. Feel free to email me at the knitting place at gmail.com. There you go. That's the only whip I have with me. I feel like I finished two and I can cast on. Right. Well, you know, I, know I need I'm to finish on. a few. What are you casting on? Definitely casting on two Rhinebeck sweaters. Two Rhinebeck two. sweaters. God I'm bless so you. So committed. Are you going to get them done before Rhinebeck? I don't know. <laughs> Well, the virtual Rhinebeck this year. I want to make a video for Christy. So for those of you who don't know already, follow Christy Glass if you don't already. Um, she has a special post about um, doing the Rhinebeck sweater. If you are going to make and complete a Rhinebeck sweater, I think it needs to be done, oh, by a certain date. What is her date? I it's got it's a it's a it's, it's a bit, earlier, it's earlier this year i don't want to say is it october 1st maybe no. i won't be able to do it you're not gonna be able to do two two i can't what was your second one? i know what one of them was what was the second so one letho is the first one let yeah. me show it to you what was your second one be? the second one is we all picked oh um, that, that I night know. at knitting well you might have to you might have to forego that and have your the group do that and you do the letho i don't know pam i know i have to do one I can't do both. Well, you don't have to do them. I mean, you can do both, but maybe don't do them at the same time. Just do one first and then. Right. Because otherwise, what's going to happen? Neither one is going to get done. No, that would be terrible. I'll go closer. So can you see go this? Closer. There you go. That's called Letho. It's by Moonstruck Knits. Absolutely fabulous. It's got a very dramatic back. Um, let me get you a picture of the mm. front. Well, this is probably a better picture of her on the front. She looks like she's wearing a shawl pin to keep it closed. There's mm -hmm. no buttons. Mm -hmm. Pretty shawl collar. I do know that it has brioche in the cuff and collar. Um, some of you might be wondering which yarn I'm going to be using. I know that she uses like a rustic yarn paired with a silk, like a mohair. A mohair. I think she uses a sport weight. Sport weight yarn. Mm -hmm. And her gauge is supposed to be 18 stitches to 4 inches. I believe I'm going to knit mine in far by Wolf Oak. Nice. So I'm going to swatch that up. Are you, you, are you, you're not going to add the mohair then? No. That's nice. No mohair for me. I absolutely love this piece. Mm, pretty. And what was the, do you remember the name of the other sweater? No, no. I'm terrible. I'll post the other one. With names. Okay. I, I don't even remember who it was by. So Christy Glass is looking for, uh, those of you who are participating and tell me about your Rhinebeck sweater, please make sure you submit your videos to her. She needs them in horizontal um, yes, right. Horizontal view, I mm -hmm. guess, or I forget. And versus vertical, like this, when you this do the, way versus this way. Right, when you do the recording. Right. Um, I'm sure she's accepting. She'll, she'll probably edit yeah. what she can edit. And right. She's and that's probably why she asked it for yes, early. She did ask it for, for it earlier. But, mm -hmm. you know, Christy, as you probably know, goes to Rhinebeck every year and just interviews people and takes pictures she's of their Rhinebeck sweater. Yep. Bursting with energy. Yep. Tell me about your Rhinebeck sweater. And her Rhinebeck sweater. It's right? always spectacular. Right. So Last year she had the unicorn sweater, yes, right? Yes, yeah, yeah. I believe so. I believe yeah, she did. it was the unicorn, I think. And then this year, um, not this year, well, obviously there's no Rhinebeck this year, so um, she wants to still post a Rhinebeck sweater video. So she Absolutely. is she asking should. people to um, post. Yeah. So let's keep... Or send her a video of your Rhinebeck sweater. Let's keep the tradition going. And you probably also, you know what, if it wasn't 100% finished, but you had, you know, she one sleeve done, I'm, I'm sure she would she would enjoy seeing those videos as Absolutely. well. Absolutely. Right? And if she doesn't, she doesn't. Right. Um, but I say let's keep the she tradition. She may get swamped this year. She may get swamped. Because more people might Correct. be submitting. Correct, they have they access can. to her versus when she's there. Yeah, it's whoever she right. runs into there, you know. I maybe she'll make a Maybe she'll make like part one and part two. 
That, <laughs> she's done two videos before, I think. Has she? I don't know. I think so. Anyway. Not sure. She's going to have her work cut out for her. She definitely will. Um, for sure. So we had asked people to leave comments about the Rhinebeck sweater, letting us know what they were going to make. Thank Correct. you for leaving your comments. Yep. Um, Some people were doing, I know, uh, Jennifer um, or Jen, what's her name, Stein, Stein, is it Stein, Stein Glass? Glass? Several Stein people Gale. were doing her. Uh huh. Someone did a rift. Did someone, someone was doing a rift or they were going to add a rift to their collection to their Rhinebeck like you they would have more than one sweater <laughs> um I'm trying to remember what else I read do you remember no I, I feel like I read the comments as they come in and yes. then going back true I should probably take notes and have them ready yeah I can scroll through it and just pick up a couple of that's them. fine right so in the meantime how about I go into you want to show them new product? Yeah. Okay. So being that, that I just spoke about Divine Yarn, why don't I share with you the new yarn that came in? So Indie Dyer Divine Yarn, here's her label. Monica Greco is the, the brains behind this beautiful palette. Uh, this colorway is Jewels, and the name of this yarn is called Big Boucle. Again, let's see if I, there you go. Is that better? Now you're seeing it. So it's got like a peach, yeah, uh, a peach, orangey peach right. kind of background with very subtle specks of color. But she, she, as we were saying yesterday, she, it's like speckled, but not like a regular speckle. Yes. So her, let's see if you can see. Her technique is very different. Um, well, you could probably see it better in here. This is a jacket that she had knit up. This is called the Kinnikin. Okay, that's right. Now you're actually not seeing all the color flecks going throughout, but mm. if I were to show you the skein of this yarn, this is the skein. Can you go, cl go close? Maybe they'll pick it up. There that's you better, go. Yeah. See all the different colors in there? There's a lot. Mm -hmm. There's purple, green, red, pink, mm. lime, turquoise, or like it's very a blue. subtle. Very, Very subtle. subtle. Mm -hmm. So when you're actually looking at the piece, even from afar, it looks like one color. But when you get up close, you actually see the hint of speckle. And it doesn't, um, it's not speckled like Pam's is speckled, for example. Right. Sorry. Pam's yarn. So this speckle has many colors running through it, and it kind of pools together. So you'll see several stitches. Here, it's really just stitch to stitch. Right. It's very different technique. Exactly. Um, so I found that to be very, very pretty. unique, mm -hmm. not like other indie dyers. Mm -hmm. So I thought that, that was something different to bring to the table. So thank you, Monica, for this gorgeous yarn, if you're watching. And this colorway is called Higher Ground, and it's the colorway that's actually knit in this sweater. Higher Ground. We showed you jewels. This one is called Crackling Leaves getting ready for fall. That's a pretty one. It's a gorgeous colorway. So this one has more like, there it's it is. Get, it's a little washed out on the camera. It's a little richer gold than what it's yes. coming up as. But it's a gorgeous color. And, uh, I think that would be my choice. That's very pretty. Mm. This one is called Roadworthy. Um, maybe that's better. Grays. It's like a pearl gray and it's got the flecks of gray and black. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. And last but not least, we have here Mosaic, another pretty speckled. Now we should say the sweater that you're looking at behind us, they they doubled the yarn. Yes. So the pattern for if you've never made the Kinnikin, this is actually a modified version. Let me show you the sleeves. Uh, Monica had ballooned the sleeves. I could probably show you. Do you have the pattern? Don't have the original pattern here. Is that it under the uh, it is. So, is this is Kinnikin, and Monica actually made the sleeves a lot more dramatic. I don't know if you can tell, but she's really ballooned them, and then she did a decrease for the cuffs. So, mm -hmm. if you do like her modification, we have all the modifications that Monica made, um, and if not, this is the original. 
design. You'd have to get the pattern and then we could tell you what the modifications are. Yes, and the pattern is designed by Tara Lynn Morrison. So here it is again. Very cute piece. And I believe the needle she knitted on is about an 11. Right? She knitted on 11. So there are different, three different sizes in the original pattern. So definitely contact us if you are making the pack, uh, making the sweater. Right. Um, and it's on, else? it's on the website. Yes. The yarn is all online available. It takes five skeins to knit this project in both sizes. The yarn is doubled. You pretty much use it up until the end for the large, or the large, I think it's small, medium, and then large, extra large. Correct. She has two sizes on her pattern. Mm -hmm. So generously fitting, yeah, sweet. Um, if For those of you who've never knit with boucle, when we did our unboxing, I know that a couple of people asked if it was toothy. This is mm -hmm. not a toothy boucle. Um, it is super, super soft, especially when you knit it on a larger needle. I think I'm knitting mine single on a 10 and a half. And for this drape, um, I know Monica doubled the yarn, believe it or not, and it still feels light as a feather. Yeah. It's, you don't feel like you're we you know, wearing a weighted blanket or anything, and the gauge is a lot looser. So she had to get, I right. think, three and a half stitches to two inches. Yeah. That's probably what she getting has. out too much information. <laughs> but the, the reason this is probably soft is because it has silk in it. Yes. The composition is 54% mohair, 23% silk, and 18% wool, and 5% nylon. Nice. It's very soft. Yes. So thank very, you, Monica. Very soft. Welcome to the knitting place. There you go. Oh, there you see the colors. That's better. Yeah. Yeah, the gold so is the, coming yes, out better back so there. Yes, so that colorway, yeah. what is it called? Crackling leaves. You can kind of see it here. Yeah, it's nice. Very, very pretty. pretty. All righty. New product. Do That's you want right. to cover something new? Um, what do we want to do? You want to do the, you want to do this? Since you're wearing. Uh, okay. Well, you want to do this? Doesn't matter. Good choice. We'll Go do ahead. yarn. Go ahead. You can start. Um, well, we've had Moondrake, the merino linen, um, since the spring probably, right? Since we closed the shop? Yes. It came in right it's after that. It's been a new yarn. Yeah. yeah. We've been carrying uh, Moondrake by Mich uh, Rochelle. She's been great. And to work with. And it's a 90 merino 10 linen. And because of the linen, you see how nice it, it dyes up. It takes the color. And this has been popular in the shop most recently for the Miserina. Yes. From so Caitlin we are Hunter. restocked from Miserina Tees. Um, right. All the stock is listed under Moondrake Merino Linen. Correct. We have not yet made new kits. We have new colors, so you can find them all on the website. The Correct. stock is available. You would just purchase the colors that you would need in their quantities. Correct. This is truffle, which we've had. Beautiful color, mm -hmm. truffle. This is navy. Very nice. This is a new color called forest. We're getting a, autumnal. Yes, is as you can see, word, yes, right? definitely. The palette is changing. This is eldritch, another it's really a rich, deep green. And another new color, which I happen to love, is called Rustic Iron. And it has some beiges, some grays. Great color, right? And a great neutral. Fabulous. Mm. And we just restocked in a lot of other colors. Here you'll see mauve. That's pretty. Toffee. Love toffee. And pink salt. Nice. We certainly got more colors. They're all restock of colors that we exist, already had. Correct. We just wanted to basically share With some the new, new colors. colors that are in. And Dime is wearing her flower power tea, which was made out of merino linen. So yes. that is one option with merino linen is what she's wearing. This one I designed using Chelsea's merino linen. Um, I think it took three skeins. Two? two skeins. Maybe two. I don't remember. You know, you could also, if you wanted to, for make the full, make sleeve. it a long sleeve. Definitely. Right? You can make it longer. It's not cropped. But it's not super long. It's not super. No, it's not super long, no. no. I would say it's right between that crop and longer, right? <laughs> but anyway, so I guess maybe if you wanted to make the sleeves longer, you might want to make sure you, you have take enough the yarn to take the third skein. Mm -hmm. I am also wearing something made out of uh, Moondrake. It's the um, Unwind Shawl by Tracy Miller, which is a great piece. It takes two skeins, one of each color. And as Tracy said, it was um, she designed this this spring also. She, sure, yeah. she was initially planning on putting some lace into it, but she decided she, 
yeah, she didn't have the mind for it um, and wanted something fairly easy to make. And you can see it has the ribbing on the bottom. And um, the color options, if you go to the website for the... We have some kits. I probably... That's another area where I could probably restock and refill kits because now we have new colors. Uh, um, sorry. You okay? I'm keep banging <laughs> myself. <laughs> what am I doing? Sorry, guys. Oh my god! But you do. Have, there are kits on the website for the Miserina currently, both for Miserina and, and unwind, for unwind. Right. So there yeah. are some kits there, or you know, you could just go on and look build at, your own and mm -hmm. make your own if you'd like. Absolutely. And, and if you need there. assistance, you can always call us for virtual FaceTime. Correct. We do all of that. Send text pictures. And every time it comes in, I always pick different. I've never, I haven't made it. And I keep saying I'm going to make it, right? Right. Every time it comes in. All right. So that is Moondrake. Thank you, Rochelle, for our latest beautiful delivery. Yeah. It's always nice to get that. Yes. Love when the new yarn comes in. in. Another great yarn for us. And in continuing with new products, right? You can just see right which down ones down. now I want. We okay. just got it received, but I want to say we use the word got. I'm missing one of the markers, I can say. Um, the no, medium, it's right here. No, the medium marker I want. I thought we got that oh, one. I must have put did. it back. I can get Is it, it underneath? No, it's in one of, the, oh. one of the round things. You want to start showing? Or okay. It? So, in addition to yarn, we got some more notions. We have a new restock and new product delivery from Coco Knits. We have the jumbo stitch markers. So if you're working on, I think it starts, it goes up to 19. There's 30 stitch markers. So if you're knitting anything like um, Nicolage or Rasta from Malabrigo, if you're using Mrs. Moon's Pump, these are great stitch markers to get on the large needles. If you need removable markers, we have the color-coded removable markers. These are fabulous if you need to mark your increases or decreases on top-down sweaters. What else are removable markers good for? Sometimes you just need to take it off. You don't need the marker. So Correct. Just, you need to remove them at some point. Right. And, yeah. and you know why I like them, too? Because um, some of the other removable markers are very thick and bulky. These, so true. And these are just, you can so put thin. them on, and it's just like having you don't one need of them. You feel them. Exactly. I agree with that. Sometimes you feel like the marker is like... Right, and I don't mind using these because they're nice and thin. Yeah. Um, but I covered these You already. did these, right? No. Okay. You want to continue? These are the medium and small size in the Cocoa Knits. Um, and they're cut. those are the colors. If, if you can see, there are some color dots on the top, and that's the size of the marker. And this says U.S. size 7. This is up to U.S. 13. So this must go up to a 7, up to a 13, then up to a 19. 19. Right. And just for those of you who are interested in these, these go up to a size 11. Nice. And then the let did we show this one? No. Nope. Precious markers? No, precious yeah, precious metal. stitch, precious metal. So if you can tell, they're gold they're really and, pretty. and copper. Gold, silver, copper metals. Oops. Yeah. yeah. And in this box, you'll find the removable marker. Whoops, it's blowing out. Yeah. Then you have the round. Right. It's a large hand. Yep. Is that up to size 13? And, and then you, and have, then you have the small one. Itsy bitsy one. <laughs> you can't Love them. See. It's like a box of jewels. Yeah, but it's assorted because you get a little bit of everything. The large, sometimes, you know, you just want to, you know. Those are good. Start small. So it says 0 to 13. 50, there are 54 markers in there. That's like if you know the jars count how many jelly beans are in there. We should have done that. How many? Do you think there are 54 in there? No. It doesn't look like Definitely it. Definitely not. That's crazy. Reminds me of that <laughs> magnetic that. toy. <laughs> yes, yes. You know that you can like yes. the forms? Yeah. You can play with it, right? Yeah. Then there is the um, the Maker's Keep, which probably... Um, I should probably open this. Yeah. Okay. Let me open it. Yep. There you go. You want to do the next one? Yep. So this is the Maker's Keep. It is like a snap-on bracelet. And it's great because it's like wearing a watch. Magnetic plate. And this is the knitting row counter, which is has a magnet. You can So you don't have to fiddle. So let's right. say you're knitting and you just did round one. Just turn the dial yep. and you're on round one. If you're doing two... Um, like I'm doing, I'm, I started Daniel's sweater, and Daniel's sweater has, it's a four-row repeat, but um, 
increasing every eighth row. <clears throat> so that was a half yawn. I'm sorry. That's okay. Just for those of you who want to know, it's like 7.30 at night. <laughs> it's been a long still day. still here. <laughs> it's, it's, you know, it's sad to say, but it's like I'm dark sorry. out already. Oh, no. Summer's right? ending. Yeah, it is. I know. But anyway. Anyway, so this could be useful for you. Yes, it could be. Okay. Uh, or it's good. I was saying when we're doing finishing, sometimes I, I always put my needle down and then I can't find it. I go to pick it up 30 seconds later and it's gone. Annoying. Yep. So it's, it's good also, for that. It's also great if you need your removable markers to mark your sleeve increases. Or decreases, yes. Or decreases, depending on which way you're going. Sewing needles, yep. straight pins if yep. you're doing finishing. It's right. just very handy. It's very handy. So that is the Maker's Keep. And we had them stocked in orange because I was feeling in an orange She was mood. in an orange mood yes. when she ordered them, right? So and that's I that. colors, but we only have orange. And okay. And then in staying with stitch markers, um, you've heard of uh, going for a flight of wine, wine tasting. This is a flight of markers. And it comes with, this is what's in the box, the larger marker, the medium, and the small, the triangular, and the removable ring. And I think there are five different styles Four of six, 24, there's 24, and they're different colors, four of each color, six colors, so it's 24. It's 120 markers. <laughs> you like that math? <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do it in my head. 120 markers. <laughs> Are you reading from the back? Yeah. Are you doing the math? I'm checking her math. <laughs> you can see school started today. <laughs> oh, my God. There you go. Anyway. Too funny. So that's a flight, and that's a very good value for that. That number, I keep saying that, but it really is. It is. For the number of markers you get. Now, just for the record, what's in here, mm -hmm. you have, these are the original, I think the original three. One, yes. two, three. The triangle and the split ring are separate, and I don't know if they can be even purchased individually. So she has yeah. a lot, like these are removable okay, markers. Okay, guess, Diana, guess. How many markers are in this container? 54. Is that what your guess is? Is that what you want to go with? 60. What do you think is in there? I looked at the label. Oh, you looked at the label. You How cheated. many are in there? 60. 60. <laughs> I looked at the label. You cheated. I'm sorry. Anyway, it doesn't look like 60, though. I wouldn't guess 60. But. No. But fabulous for, like, yeah. Stephen West when he has you place markers every so many times. Well, you know, stitches. I love it because I have my buddy case. They're fabulous. And I love it yes. because you have the little compartments, and I put my little marker, and then I put fabulous. my removable marker. You have to get a buddy case to show them. You want me to get Yep. I love the buddy case. The buddy case is great. It's so good because I have my yarn needles in it. I'll I just continue. So we have the stitch fixer. We've had this before, another popular item in the shop. This is great for your drop stitches. It's two-sided, so you have um, a smaller, I don't know, actually, is it two different sizes on either end? Must be, maybe. Maybe no. not, no. Just double-ended crochet hook. Excellent for drop stitches. So this is what Pam is talking about. This is the buddy case. And you put your markers in here, right? I can't say, but yeah, probably. <clears throat> yes, I do. Right. right. So yeah. these are the different compartments. This, this would be for my removable markers. Your this itty -bitty. might be my itty-bitty markers. And this would be for your medium round And this one. might be for my decorative markers. Like Ann Tudor. Like we just got in, right? Right. Or the uh, Black Pearl Magic markers. Yes, Black yes. Pearl Magic. Yep. We didn't talk about that. We really can't. We can. We will talk about it in a second. But. We could show those markers, too. Anyway, these are great compartments for sewing needles. And you could put I little... I put my little snip in there. My little snip scissor goes yes. in there. And my longer yarn needles that don't fit in there. And then right. I put straight pins. I put safety pins. And then sewing smaller needles. sewing needles. Lovely. Great. Buddy case. This is a good one. And it comes in It comes in different colors. But Rainbow color. Yeah. Oh, we forgot this little thing, Diana. Yeah, talk right. about this. Well, we got a side track. Yeah. We also got, got it. Stitch stoppers. For those of you who like to put point protectors on the edge of their needles so they don't lose their stitches. And those are nice. Got rainbow. They don't come off. And they also have the shades of gray, which they're calling <laughs> neutral. Love that. <laughs> so these are all on the website. Correct. Have fun. Go shopping. 
last but not least, the newest, the newest and latest invention of creation. See the rainbow in, in theme with all of her colors. This is actually a needle gauge. Here you show them how it works. Well, it goes from a size, what did you say you go for? I think a zero. Two mm. Does she have the, uh, she does, a US zero up to a US So 15. it's actually embossed right on the rim Correct. of the. Right, it's hard to see because it's just, it's embossed. It's embossed. It says US 15, 10, 10 millimeter. And what Diana said, interestingly, was this did not look like it would be the size of a 15 needle. No, it's clearly an optical illusion. Of course. It's like you can. Right. So, so of course I have to show test them the it. needle. Show them the needle. That is the space. Now we know coconut products are perfect, but I did question it. Look at it that! Does fit. Beautiful. I need one of these. It's fabulous. I need one of these. I wonder if this would fit in the buddy case thing. I don't think so. But you know what? So. You might be able to loop it on the little chain. I wouldn't take yeah. a chance. Yeah. Is it what chain? It's this little chain that's on the end. Oh, the ball chain. Yeah. You could do maybe you could do that and no, i don't know if i would do that then yeah. i wouldn't want it to fall off i agree but anyway it's very super compact. handy yep. yes right. lovely so very different than like a knit check from susan bates which yeah. has all your needle gauges here right this has a measuring tool it's different so this is just cute listen you can never have too many gauges i was telling diana before i had four of those susan Bates things and now i don't have any you don't know how frustrating. Sometimes I'll put out and pull out a I needle do. that has no marking on it, and I, I organize, don't know what it is. I organize my circular <laughs> needles in my little zippered case that says the, you know, the embroidered ones. Yes, we don't yes. have them anymore. Right, right. But so they're all in these little page protectors, not page, they're Ziploc bags. Right. Well, they, yeah, they're not Ziploc bags, but, but they that's have what a, they, they look have like. a closure on. Right. Them. Correct. Anyway, P.S. I have my knit check in there. And it's annoying because the bags aren't labeled. You still have to check to make sure that you right. put it back in the right Correct. spot, you Correct. know, filed in the right place. Right. So if you just have this little needle gauge with you, you just take Why the right needle. Sure. Yeah, Leave done. it to Coco Knits to come up with something. I think it's terrific. a great invention. It's a great idea. Yeah. And it's cute. It's pretty. Yeah. It's colorful. It's definitely attractive. Keeps in theme. So those are some new accessories at the shop and some um, restocks of yes. some favorites, right? Yes. So there you go. Um, we have oh, a winner. Talk about that. What the bag? The bag. Yeah. Well, you guys. <laughs> we we had hoped to talk about it on the podcast, but we got these bags in yesterday. This is a curbside pickup, so we have this bag to show you. And I have. <laughs> hold on, I'll show you another one. I did snag one for myself, and I have one on hold. It is from, I'm sorry, Black Pearl Magic, Shayla, who is fabulous to work with. Thank you, Shayla, if you're watching. It has the handles. Um, this bag is going to Ruthie. Pockets. And actually, let's go in here. We've got some more. That's right. right. We don't have to grab them. And it she also even has purchased one of each marker. <laughs> a drawstring. She did. Yes. Um, so I've never had experienced anything like this. We uh -huh. had... Three bags when we left here yesterday. I think within two hours we were practically sold out. By the end of day we had three left. I woke up and they were sold out. Correct. Less than 24 hours. And you see the nice wide bottom it has. And it's this is the coated, uh, what are they called? Wax like, bottom. Wax bottom, mm -hmm. correct. Very well made. Mm -hmm. Definitely pays attention to detail. Shayla, So you may say, well. why are you showing that to me when I can't get it? Because we're getting a new order. <laughs> We're not sure when, but we are. We, we are will, getting. Yes. Did you show the markers? Well, Shayla deserves to be. Well, Let's first show off, her the other bags. Yes. Mm -hmm. So this is already spoken for. This bag. Right. So when Shayla first put a teaser out, somebody had inquired about a bag, and um, this was the. Um, I promised I would hold it for her. This is the mega bag, right? So if for any reason. Was it? The customer on Friday doesn't want this bag, although it's dropped at Gorgeous, and she'll probably snatch it. I'm sure she will. <laughs> It'll be available. I'm sure she will. And then one other print, which I had to take for myself, is the cheetah. And if you can see, that's on a this pink is background. Yes. So this is the mega size, mm -hmm. which is fabulous. It's like a sweater quantity. They all have the drawstring on the top. Look at this big bottom. Yeah, the I nice mean, big bottom. Huge. Yep. 
It's bigger than my face. This one was the large one, right? Yes. Okay. And after the large is the mega the, that Diana has. Right. So there was mega, large, medium, and small. Small is perfect for a sock. Yeah. For a sock. Yeah. So I don't have it. We don't have any of those, do we? No. No. They're all they're gone. gone. Shipped. This is another mega one. Now, is this spoken for? I don't know, Diana. I don't, I don't know. This never made it online. This might be for is the Friday right? person. Yeah. So we may have one available. <laughs> but don't worry. There are more coming in. Yes. And we'll let you know when they're coming in. And you showed the markers? I did not. Okay. Shayla, thank you. We also got some stitch markers. Um, these are all, they all have a message. Your magic, own it. And I just love that message. So these are her hexagon markers. Those are pretty. And if I'm not mistaken, are they a little sparkly? They are. It's red on one side, and it's kind of like flat pink on the other. Of course, these are all tilting now to one side, but they're very pretty. Then and we these have little iridescent. These are a smaller size mark. Those are beautiful. So it's pretty. it's like a ring with a bead on it. Mm -hmm. What do you call it? Like an aurora borealis? So I call it an aurora borealis because it kind of picks up the color. It's very it's pretty. Purplish, it's like it opaly. Yep. There's like yes. a, a blue halo yes. around it. Very pretty. And these are her cat markers. They're for a larger needle. They're right. nice too. So you kind of have small, medium, and then and large. large. Right. Pretty, right? Sorry. He's going that way. Yeah, right. this goes to reason. Oh, here it is. You can stick them in there. Okay. That's fabulous. So that's black. So that was like. That was a new product. <laughs> Markers are still available. At least some of them are. And again, check in with us because we will have more bags. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, okay. We did say we, in case you missed our unboxing, we got this project bag in. Today, September 1st, this Hohe Zoom, Zoom call cast on. I heard over 700 people joined. Oh, is that right? Yep. I'm sure, yeah. Crazy. Yeah. Yep. Yep. She had a wonderful turnout. And go ahead. No, I was, I was wondering if you can watch it. I'm sure you can yes, watch you can. it, right? It's probably on YouTube. Yeah, so if you missed it, like we did, because we were working. Correct. But this is, she had someone do the artwork, and they made a nice canvas bag, and Diana and I were lucky enough to snag one for ourselves, for each of us, correct? Yes, in addition to buying an extra one, like we said, to a winner who bought a kit, in support of the Hohe Knit Along, bought a kit from us. Yep. And the winner from the random number generate was Susie Hanna. So congratulations, Susie. We are going to put this in the mail. Susie bought two skeins of Suburban Stitcher. And I believe she was doing the shawl. It was a two-color shawl. Called? Uh, so was it uh, Close Friends? Friends Together? No. No. Okay. Hold on. We go through this all the time. I don't know why I can't remember the name it's of that on the shawl. computer, so I can't look it? it up. Yeah, I'll look it up on Ravelry. Hohe pattern, beautiful shawl, a crescent shawl, if I'm not mistaken. Two colors. It has circle bobbles of in it. Something like that. Maybe circle of friends. I'll search it. Pam is going to search it. So she used uh, chicory and Oslo fingering oh, I love weight. Those yes, colors. fabulous. We actually did that in a live. So thank you, Susie, for a supporting us during. Uh, you know, during the knit along, yep. all the kits That's that we put together. Here it is. Was it Circle of Friends? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So beautiful. So the yarn shipped to her already. Here it is. And there it is. Isn't it's that a two pretty. color shawl. Very pretty. With the bobbles. So I would imagine she's going to use the chicory, which is like a glazed pecan, on the top. For the main body. Mm -hmm. And then she'll have the Gorgeous. lighter Oslo color. At the but bottom. as you know, there are so many, I mean, I discovered through this knit along that there were patterns I, I didn't even know about. She has so many gorgeous <laughs> patterns. And if you know Hohe, they're all well written. And she has, even if you just want to participate for fun, she has a lot of one skein shawl things that you can do. Mm -hmm. Shawl projects, right? Definitely. So, or so if you want to do something. Big. We had a customer who bought. Enough to do a cardigan. She's right. doing, she's the, doing cardigan. the cardigan. The card, what is it? She's doing um, What's it called? Citadel. Citadel, right. She had made all of the lights. She did. Yeah. Okay, so she knows. It's yeah. funny. A lot of people say, why are you making both? They're different. But they are different. different. I mean, I made Citadel, and I also made all of the lights. We talked at one of, one of them on the last podcast you had, the one that you made out of the uh, Rios, I believe, was here. The um, Citadel. Did I show both? On the last one, I don't know. I think I may have shown both. Whatever. Because we were promoting the kits. But again, it's not too late. If Hohe is your jam and you want to still knit something, it, you know, 
You don't have to be part of a and contest. It, it runs, I think, from September 1st to November 30th, so you certainly have plenty of time. To knit it. Is registration closed for the Registration project? is closed, right. right. But you can't, but so big deal. You, you could still follow it. on the yeah. threads. She She's great. She has a Ravelry thread. I think you could be on the cowl team, the shawl team. Oh, does she really? I think she separates, yeah. she divides people. By project. Yeah. Yes. Socks, into different Navy. Groups. Right. Right. So, unfortunately, I have two Hoey projects on my needles, but they don't doesn't count. They don't qualify nope, for it. They so. don't qualify. What are you going to do? Cast <laughs> on a new one, Pam. You I'll said you were going to do three. <laughs> I'll have three then. <laughs> I have to. Anyway. I want to support. So anyway, congratulations, Susie. You are our winner. I will probably we have your address since we you can made a message purchase. Her, sure. I could just mail it. Yeah. So thank you. Okay, that's that. What else did we have to share? We have um, oh, an yes, FO yes. that we wanted to share that we yes. thought was absolutely beautiful. A customer brought this in to be blocked. Um, this is called Into the Echo. Uh, you made the, you you share, uh, Cheryl Faust F A U S T. Yes, is it Cheryl. Cheryl. Right. Dinah made her. Um, what was it that you made? I am so bad. My God, my head it is came in the, second place in the. Um, that knitwear. It's not Mason Dixon. I was. Gonna, I know it's, it's not Mason Dixon. Else. It's called something else. What used to be Mason Dixon, but gosh, we are so off our I know. Isn't that terrible? <laughs> I'll look it up. <laughs> That's crazy that we can't remember that. But anyway, um, whatever the name of that pattern is, the Dynamade. Something knits daily. Modern knits daily. Okay. Do you remember the name of the piece? You um, Modern knits daily. That is, it, she, so she had done, yeah, she had done actually. She does like a, a bracket, concept, right. like you have March Madness. She does a bracket every March at the same time. And this shawl from Cheryl Faust came in second place. I think it, well, I don't want to insult anybody. I think it should have won, but what was it called? Lord Isn't Champion. Cool? This is the name. This is the shawl. She doesn't have it named here. Destination Unknown. Bad. I can't believe <laughs> Remember that. How delayed. many of those did we have here? But anyway, this so is many people made this it. is and then another what is this mosaic. Called? What's it called? Into the echo. Into the echo. There you go. <laughs> and it's lovely. Oh, she Lord. used uh, squishy. Yes, we have from Inzula. Yes, we paired the kits. Yep, with a uh, spin Di cycle dyed, dyed in, the in the wall. wall. Right. And this yep. was the color that she made. Which I'm just gonna. It's really pretty. So it's mosaic knitting. Now you have to remember with mosaic knitting, you don't want to pull tight. Yeah. You definitely want to keep the color work open. Destination Correct. Unknown was another one with, with so, mosaic knitting. Correct. So we thought um, we had we have kits on the website. Yeah. For for um, into the echo. Thank you. <laughs> anyway, We're so we just, just wanted show to show them. them to you again. They're online. So you'll find them online. This is one colorway, which is plum mm -hmm. and cold comfort. How pretty is that? It's beautiful. And I think the kit is three and two. Yes. Is what it consists of. Um, here's another Now, one. actually, wait. I'm just going to interrupt you for a sure. minute. Melanie Berg also did a shawl. Yes. So for those of you who don't want to buy as many skeins as might what might be calling for into the Echo, I think if you took two skeins of Squishy and two skeins right. of Dyed in the Wool. It's one less Dyed of the it, Wool. Right. It's something called, how do you say it? Nix. N-I-X-E. By know Melanie you, Berg. It's right. another beautiful mosaic shawl. I'll pull it Which up. Which stands for, it, she said it means mermaid. So I can pull it up. And this colorway that I'm going to show you is Pewter and Grumpy Birds, a neutral combination. Lovely though, right? And you have it? Yeah. Let's see if I can. I'm trying to make it bigger so that you could see it. It's getting blown out. Well, it doesn't help that the color that's there it's is a light, light color. color. Maybe, maybe here's maybe a darker another. one. There yeah. it is. Yeah. So that's in a gray. And she says it's, um, I don't want to say that she said it's easy, but she said it's, she did say it was easy. She said it's not a difficult well, knit. You know what it is? People don't realize mosaic knitting is not, it's, it's, it's very easy. It's color work, but it's not stranded knitting. Right. 
So you're not fumbling with two colors at a time in a row. You're slipping stitches. So technically, you're not when you slip, you're not knitting those stitches. Correct. So you're knitting fewer stitches along the row yeah. than you typically would be. And it's, um, for instance, the uh, shift cowl from Andre Mowry. That was awesome. mosaic. Her night shift shawl was also mosaic. So, And that's, again, it looks like color work. This is another way, which is black squishy and pick your poison from dyed in the wool i have to sneeze i have to get my coffee because i'm like yawning couldn't help but i'm sorry excuse me excuse me this is another lovely colorway with squishy it's called heidi and shades of earth you can see the if you can see the blue that is in there that's another lovely colorway is that coffee you're drinking Iced coffee. Mm. I better wake up. Sorry, guys. Love this, this colorway. This one's fabulous. It's pretty, right? Castaway. And Love this one color. is marigold. Very pretty. That is stunning. Now, mm -hmm. talking about mermaid. Like, doesn't this <laughs> it does look oh, like mermaid wow. colors, right? It does. Fabulous. Love. That is like happy. Yeah. More neutral. This one is called cornflower. And we have that paired with labradite. That's very pretty. Oh, very, is, very pretty. This is a lovely one. <clears throat> this is Madam with Mississippi Marsala. That's great. Isn't that pretty? I must say we have good combinations. And here, Dinah, this one's yours. I have to say I like these combos. They are lovely combos. This one is Toffee, which is in my wheelhouse, and Deep Bump. Love that. So, so just to, like to reiterate again... Thing. These kits that we're showing you are on our website for Into the Echo. Into the Echo. Which is what we showed here. If you like any of the colorways for the Melanie Berg shawl, just give the shawl. This, we don't have those up yet, but you can call the shop. Right. I may and, have them up by Thursday right. or even by the time this Correct. gets edited and up. But it would be the N I X E. I don't know if it's. I don't know how to say it. Nix. Nix. Probably Nix, right? Yep. Joan, beautiful job in case you're watching. Yes, yeah, she did a great <laughs> job you. on that, right? Needs to be blocked. Anyway, so that's that. Is there anything else, Donna? Um, I think that's it. Can you think of anything? Yes, I can. Let me think. Where is it? I'm looking for it, though. I know where it is. Stay where you're sitting. Stay where you're sitting, Diana. Talk. Say something. Talk, say tell something. Him, tell him I'm it's like starving first, and I want to go home and want to eat dinner. I hope, <laughs> I hope that you find something good when you get home. I, I told you know my when husband, you're hungry and you say, oh, I can't wait to get home and eat. And you get home and it's something that you really don't want. I told my husband, I'm going to be home late. What Figure will he make? What do you think he's going to make? You think probably he's going to order in? No, it's probably eggs. Oh. If not, I'll well, I don't mind. I cereal. like eggs. I like, I like eggs too. I like oh, breakfast for <laughs> Dane is totally embarrassed by this. But the last time we um, had a podcast, I said every episode I was going to say something about this book. And uh, if you recall, well, maybe you don't. Maybe you didn't see the podcast. But I'll just review quickly. I showed – let me get this out of here. It's a piece of paper. I showed this jacket that um, Dinah designed about 13 years ago. And what happened was we had a – a um, gentleman come in who had a yarn company. Turned out it was cool. He did pretty well, actually, mm -hmm. right? Aslan Trends. Um, he had all different kinds of, kinds of yarn. Chunky, cottons, thinner, wools, you know, blend, natural different fibers, blends, right? All from, natural fibers. From South America, right? That's where yes. they all came from. And he asked if Dinah would do some designing for him, so she did. And the one I featured the last time was called the Cozy Coat. And... Uh, I was very excited because I felt that we have a yarn currently in stock from wool folk called Bulky Flet, or mm -hmm. Flet Bulky. And it's right behind me. I just saw it. Yeah, here it is. And um, it turns out that it's like exactly the kind of yarn that, oh, I took the same color twice. That, um, the Aslan Trend yarn, Trends yarn was. Yes. Now, Aslan Trends, a few years ago, he was probably around for 10 years, right? He went out about three years ago, four, three years ago, four Maybe years ago. Maybe a little ago. more. Anyway, um, 
but we have the bulky flat, which is just like what the La, La Pampa was. Texture-wise. I think it's softer it's, it's than the La Pampa. Softer. Yeah, personally. Much dreamier, and, I have to say. Correct. And But the funny thing is, it's the same needle size. It's the same gauge. Um, Interchangeable. As, as the La Pampa. Now, I also noticed, I said this before, there were some people when I was on Ravelry, I looked up La Pampa, and there were people who had have stash. Some people have two skeins. There are a number of people with 10 skeins. So if you're looking to make it in the original yarn, you, you may have it or you could. Yeah, yeah exactly. Um, now, the the conversion in the in the pattern book is the, there were three sizes and you would use seven, eight or nine skeins of La Pampa. The conversion to flat is six, seven or eight. But oh, so you have bet, better yardage on yeah, the better, flat. Yeah, La Pampa oh, was 109 yards, and this is 131 yards. So okay. you have more yardage. Now, that being said, we had a great time with this book because I would say there were probably at least four patterns in here, at least four, right, Dinah, that were really popular patterns, probably more than that now that I think about it, that I'm flipping through it. But a lot of our customers knit out of this book. Yes. The book is now, I, I convinced Diana to put it up on the website, so it's on the website. You know, as a knitter, other yarns can be subbed in, but I to, I said that I would feature a pattern, a different pattern, each time we looked at it. Would you like me to feature another pattern today, Diana? <laughs> Full disclosure, <laughs> I just want to say, this book was not um, tech edited. So there are some erratas and I, I searched high and low to really find the sheet. I don't know. Um, so if for any reason you run into a problem with any of the instructions, just give me a call, email me. I will happy. To, Would you like me to share that? That's a beauty. I will be happy to, that's a good one. Mm -hmm. I'll be happy to clarify any of the instructions for you. Um, the owner of the company did not want to have it tech edited. Right. Well, I and also he was in a crunch for time. Correct. He needed to get it published. He published it all on his own. Right. So I understand, but there's a drawback. Right. And this um, was in 2007. Right. And I have to say, um, also 2007, people weren't that size inclusive, conscientious about size inclusivity. So if there's something that you right. Want modified? Um, if I can, I will be happy to modify it for you. I'm actually thinking of maybe having each piece individually test knit again, tech edited. Tech edited. Mm -hmm. yeah, that would be um, a thing to do. So, anyway, so the stay one. Stay tuned. So the one I'm going to talk about today. This takes up the whole page. So I the whole thing. It's called the oblique shawl. This was very popular in the shop. Yes. Do we have samples of this? We. I think we do. Don't know where it would be. Anyway, I have an oblique shawl at home that I made for my mother. I do. I do. I saved it. You have to bring that I in. I should bring it in. I did not use this yarn. This yarn was called Invernal. Invernal was a lovely yarn because Invernal on the skein looked one way, but when you knit with it, it blossomed. What was the blend on Invernal? It had Angora, spiky Angora in there, and it Correct. just had the most amazing halo you ever saw. And this shawl, just bear with me for one moment. It's very pretty. Bear with me for one moment. If I can, it's probably towards the front. There it is. This took four skeins of Invernal, this shawl. Now, mm -hmm. I may, I may be, be able to put my hands on four skeins. You still have some? Downstairs. I may. I may. You'd now, have to, now we're going you'd have into to the vault. The shop. We're going into, <laughs> you'd have to, we're going into the vault. <laughs> so I would think, you know, if there was no, if they weren't going to use Invernal, an alpaca would be nice. Road to China Light. I was Road to China Light would be nice. Would probably have the most sim most similar characteristics. Characteristics, because it would have the halo to it. Correct. Um, it's also soft and drapey. Uh, a beautiful design detail in this. I don't know if you could see it, if it's coming through. There's a pocket here. Right. And the other end of the shawl pulls through and it kind of stays on. So I don't know. Right. That, you know, you're not fussing with the no, shawl. No, you're not. You don't have on. to worry it's staying on. And then if you can see on the other side of the page, it has that nice little open. There's the, a lace detail. Yep. Yeah. And the points. Mm -hmm. So it's a very popular shawl. Um, so that's item number two from Seasons Change, which you'll find on the website. Right. Thank Is there you, anything Pam. else I can say about that? I think I've covered it. If you're and if you know, listen, if you're interested in anything, if you buy the book, you're interested in anything, just you know, you can always call the shop. And I believe there 
many people who made that project. So if you look up Oblique Shawl on Ravelry, you you'd see actually it, yeah. see it done up yeah. in different uh, yarns. That's something we could have actually done to make recommendations. Now, I will be in full disclosure. I made the Oblique Shawl. Um, Where did you make it out of? I don't remember. I know what I made it out of. Debbie Bliss, Bliss, Cash, Debbie Bliss Cash Marino. Aaron. Really? This had pattern, done that. this pattern, you did that. not, des you did design this, but we had, this was a design that we had prior, prior to him asking you. Yes. And it was such a popular design we that decided we to, added it to yes. the book using his yarn. Yes. So the point is, um, that's right, because he wanted to have, he wanted sweaters, blankets, correct. infant, child, correct. adult, correct. Shawl. So the, the point is, I used a Debbie Bliss Cash Merino Aaron, which I think the gauge on that was 18 stitches. And if, Could be. if I'm, I, I was thinking in front of it's like a DK weight. Yes. And it, it definitely had a different size. I don't know if you had as many points. It was larger. It was just, yes. I had as many points. It's just, it was it just larger. was larger. So the point being, even if you use a yarn, like I think Road to China Light is more like a 22 to 24. It's definitely more like in Bernal. You would just, you could add another repeat. Right. Absolutely. I mean, this, like the repeats it. are the same. Just add more repeats to it. But in any event, the point being, you can make it out of a 20-stitch gauge if you wanted to. And it would just be a larger shawl. Correct. Right. More coverage. More coverage, right. So um, anyway, I wanted to share that because I would have. I think that that oblique shawl, correct me if I'm wrong, might be one of the more popular pieces in that book. One of the more. Definitely. Yeah. The La Pampa. Yeah. The oblique shawl was very popular. We're not going to mention the others. Okay. Now. We're not going to mention the others. Now. There you go. <laughs> Got to leave Stay something tuned. out, you know? <laughs> anyway, so if you're interested in the book, that's on the website, right, Dana? Yes. And you know what? I will tell you something. There is a volume two. Oh, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Do we have volume two? Do we have it? I think I landed on a copy of volume two. Just a copy? One. Are these patterns on Ravelry? That I need to check. I think they are. They, they might, might be, be sold individually. Trends. You know what? They might be sold individually. He yeah. may have done that. Yeah. Yep. Someone called. Someone. Someone. Did someone call you? Message you? Was it online right. yesterday? They placed an order for the book. Oh yes, we sold several. Was copies. that online? Yeah. Was that online? And she yes. wanted. They wanted Diana to autograph it. Tell me you're really embarrassing. <laughs> we were trying. No, what you have to understand. We have to understand. That. Did you tell your kids no. that? Because <laughs> we always say when that happens, like, you know, my kids would say, Mom, you know. But it was I cute. told Diana that she had to use a felt tip sweet. pen when she signed it. Right? That was very good. I think tip. I need a Sharpie, though, because the felt tip, I felt like it. Yeah. It, well, a Sharpie slides a little better, maybe. We have Sharpies. We have them downstairs. Oh, that's only if someone else asks for signature. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we were just joking. We were laughing. We thought it was, that was very cute. sweet. It was I very was really sweet. touched. Yeah, so sweet. thank you. Yeah. Really touched. It's always nice to be appreciated, right? Yes, Diana? it makes me feel very special. And just by you know, by function of viewership, you guys like picking up our Instagram followers, right. our YouTube followers. Right. It's just it makes us feel so good. It's always it's, nice. It's uplifting, and we feel great. And thank you. We try very hard to keep things positive. There's so much, we want to stay positive. Let's just leave it at that. <laughs> we don't have to go anywhere else. And just to tell you, going back to what we, we were talking about, a Rambic sweater. Yes. Right. Someone was doing the Carbeth. Yes, Carbeth was one. Someone was doing um, Carol Feller's Glen Barrow. Someone was doing Goldwing from Jennifer Steinglass. That was one of the ones that, that um, we were trying to remember the name of. Interesting. Spark. One is Spark. Oh, Spark, spark and Spice. Uh, spark and Spicy. Right. Or Spice, whatever spice. it's called. Yep. So there are just a ton of them. Melissa Leapman's Stranded Yoke Pullover. But what was even more touching, and thank you for leaving comments, just the fact that you welcome, uh, welcomed us back and were so happy to see us again just yes. makes us feel really good. So yes. thank you. We're it back. Does. We're back. We made <laughs> we it. Did. Now, we you won't see us for, for six weeks. No, that's not true. That's <laughs> it's going to be a little more difficult now because of I schedules. I have started school. But uh, so that means mornings are out, right? Yes. So we're, we're going to get late night podcasts unless we do it at 
When else could we do it? Weekend. You want to do it on Sunday. You don't want to do it on your day off. No. See, I don't mind doing it on my I day I mean, we off. could, I would do it on my day off if I could, we could do it like early. But we can't. Because I'm an early riser. On a Sunday? Oh, Sunday. I was thinking Wednesday. No, Wednesday I can't do it. I can yeah. do Wednesday afternoon. We'll figure Whatever, it out. Whatever, we'll figure it out. We've always, we've made, listen, we've made it work for the past how many years? Made it this far. How many years have we been doing it? Three years? Three Is it years. that long? Is it, we were three years in July, right? I don't even remember. I think so. I I'm think so bad so. at celebrating anniversaries and birthdays yeah, and all well. that. What are you going to do? We're going to say thank you. That's what we're going to do. Thank you for watching. Yes. Thank you for following us, subscribing. Um, ring that bell. Ring that bell. <laughs> <laughs> right? Who sings that song? Is that Diana Ross? Ross? Is that the one you're trying Diana to think Ross? of? You no, I don't, know. And no, I don't think that's... <laughs> Ring, Ring my, my bell. bell. My mm. bell. <laughs> um, do we have any questions for our viewers? Mm. Well, you could. we could ask you, you and I were discussing how, even though Rhinebeck was canceled, we know um, people have talked about that, that they're going up there. They're still going up there. To have like a knitting Rhinebeck weekend. Are weekend? you doing anything Rhinebeck weekend? Are you going to do? Are you joining any virtual knits? knitting mm -hmm. groups are you mm -hmm. going up there mm -hmm. are you meeting with you i mean we had a little rhinebeck reunion outside i don't know if you guys saw oh, the instagram did, yeah. post mm -hmm. remember you had to leave early um where we, we had gone to rhinebeck last year mm -hmm. with that group of people with that, right a rhinebeck house so that was fun and then we decided on a sweater and of course the next day a new sweater <laughs> popped out There's always a new sweater. yes always so i guess we're going to start to see some fall sweaters i know that um is it fog line that's a new sweater that came out today that was launched with um andrew Mowry's dream state if i'm not mistaken with the farmer's is that daughter the one that yes. i saw that's what the, i didn't know what that was called <clears throat> beautiful sweater so mm -hmm. i'm sure we're going to see a lot of new designs uh let me pull it up um yeah a bunch of new designs I haven't even looked today because I, and was, I haven't been on. I was at school, so I haven't even had a chance been. to go on to look anything up. Uh, where is it? Here it is. Very pretty sweater. Is that Dream State? Dream State paired with. Um, by the way, the designer's name is Brienne Moody. Um, I will put that as a tagline, fog line, and I can let you know that it's done in dream state and a yarn from Farmer's Daughter. Um, let's see. She used the Farmer's Daughter Pish, Pishkin. Pishkin. Pishkin in Dirty Little Dandelion paired with the family jewels from Spin Cycle Dream State. So it must, be, a little, it must be maybe it's a worsted weight or a Probably. whatever because it's a Dream yeah. State, right? DK Worcester. Mm -hmm. Very pretty. Mm -hmm. We had a customer inquire about making the sweater and she was worried yeah, that... Yeah, someone ordered Dream State, so I wonder if she's making that. Oh, I don't know. That was a great colorway. Yeah. Um, I don't know. So for those of you who are blessed with big girls, yeah, <laughs> you can always steak and do a cardigan. You can do that, yeah. Yeah. Very pretty, attractive sweater. I like yeah. it. It's a nice shape. Not going to make my Rhinebeck list this year, though. No. I, mean, I think you have enough on your Rhinebeck list. <laughs> <laughs> your Rhinebeck list is going to take you to another Fiber Festival. It's exactly. Probably maybe Thanksgiving now. No, yeah. I'm not kidding. That's not true. But anyway. All right. Thank you so much for tuning in. Time to go home and eat. Yes, time to go home and eat, rest, relax, maybe knit if we're not too tired. Definitely too tired. Yeah, we'll <laughs> and yeah, so now that school has started, you know, you're going to see my knitting uh, production go down. Right? You think so? Nah, it depends, you know, when you go home at night. By the time you have dinner, I know I always have good intentions, but I sit down, I do a row, and I'm just, you know what, I'm too tired, so I'm not going to do it. I feel you. Yeah. All right. Again, good night. Good night. We'll <laughs> see you soon. Bye.